I'm going to indicate to you how to construct a graph in this section. You know, would have remembered that we have said that in order to construct a graph, we're working with numbering lines. What I'm having on the whiteboard is a table which represents the price and the quantities for caps. And in this table, you see that as the price increases, in other words, when it is one rand, the quantity of caps demanded will be 22. But as the price increases to 3 rand, the quantity of caps demanded will be 18. So as the price increases, the quantity decreases. But looking at this table as well, you see that we have only positive values. And therefore, when it comes to our numbering lines, we once again just work with the positive sections of our numbering line. And here you would note that on my horizontal axis, I have the quantities, and that I indicate by Q. On the vertical axis, we normally indicate our price, and my intervals in this case is intervals of 1 for the price and intervals of 2 for the quantities. How do I plot now these coordinates? Remember, for me to be able to construct a graph, I need an x and a y value. The x values is the quantities, the y values the price. Looking at the table, if the price is 10 rand, then the quantity that corresponds with it is 4. So here at 4 units, or quantity 4, I draw a line upwards. At the price of 10 rand, I draw a line horizontally until the two meet and then I make a little dot. And that I call point A. Then when it comes down to 9 rand the price, what happens with the quantity? It increases to 6 units. So at 6, I draw a line upwards. At 9, I draw a line across. And where the two meet, I make a little dot. At 8 and 8, so at 8 units, I draw a line upwards. At 8 rand, I draw a line across. And there where the two meet, I make a little dot and I say that's point C. At 7 rand, I draw a line once again across. At 10, I draw a line upwards. And where the two meet, I make a dot, point D. And so I continue until I reach prices of 2 rand and 1 rand. At 2 rand, I once again draw a line across. But the quantity that corresponds with 2 rand in the table is 20 units. And there I make my dot. At 1 rand, once again horizontal, until I reach the quantity value of 22. And there I make a further dot. But now, having the dots is purely identifying the coordinates as it's reflecting in the table. To construct the graph, I need now to join all these dots with each other. So starting at point A, I draw a line across all these dots. And there is my curve. If you look at this curve and the values in the table, you would see that there is an inverse relationship that exists between the price and the quantity. By that I mean an opposite relationship. If the price is high, the quantity is low. And if the price is low, the quantity is high. Therefore, this curve of ours has a negative slope or a negative gradient showing the opposites of, or the inverse relationships that exist between price and quantity in this example.